Now, Caleb Bradham was a pharmacist, an inventor, and a teacher. And he did attend North Carolina University. Then he went to medical school at the University of Maryland, where he dropped out because his dad, his dad's company went under, and he, and I, I guess because of that, it was hard for him to, he couldn't go, you know, they couldn't afford it. So nevertheless, though, he probably learned a lot there, and uh, he, he was able to take what he learned and apply it to inventing a soda, which became Pepsi, obviously. And in the late 1800s, he gave birth to Pepsi Cola. And I hope I can find, eventually find his grave, but if not, I'll still take you to where his business once was here in downtown New Bern. Now here's the grave of the Pepsi Cola inventor, Caleb Bradham, and he's here with his family. Now, back in 1893, Bradham invented the recipe, which was a blend of cola nut extract and, and vanilla and some other oils that he used. And then uh, at one time it was called Brad's drink, but he probably and others realized that it probably wouldn't sell with that name. So he had to come up with obviously with a with a with a cool name. So so he combined pepsin and cola and of course pepsin is uh i guess it, what what is it i from what i understand an enzyme that breaks down proteins into smaller into into peptides or i i'm not a scientist i'm not into i don't really i'm not a chemist or a pharmacist so i i uh and here's his son, oh, Caleb Bradham Jr. If you ever want to find him, just remember, it's this, this open lane right here in, in Grassy Lane, and you'll see some uh, houses. You'll see some small houses uh, right here, and there's a big um, obelisk kind of towards the back. And then there's a kind of an apartment looking building on the um, other side. Yeah, um, now Caleb, he, uh, Pepsi, you know, he did well, he, uh, he invented Pepsi, and I'll talk uh, more about it when we find his, the, his actual old uh, pharmacy, his old business, but later on, um, towards World, uh, World War I, sugar spiked, and he made the mistake of paying he he paid the pr he he spent the money and and uh, on the sugar and then it it went back down and it, it sort of cost him his business. Um, up until then, it was kind of thriving, you know, especially on the um, uh, on east and eastern North Carolina um, or North Carolina, even uh, you know, for a while it 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 did it did well. It did very well. As you can see, this placard has his name on it. He was born in 1867 and he passed away in 1934. Brad's drink ended up, and he created in pharmacy here, was marketed as Pepsi Cola after 1898. And the early 1900s is when it sort of took off. Yeah, 1902, the Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola was incorporated in North Carolina, and in 1903, he became the president of Pepsi, and uh, history was made, obviously, so. I appreciate you guys joining me, 
and I will see you later.